Hey, what's up, guys? Eskazoo here, and welcome to episode 15 of Skill into Glory. And uh, in the previous episode, we unfortunately didn't win the title. We had to win uh, at least one more game, and we lost two in the final two games. We kind of blew it, so um, that kind of sucks. But um, I promise you as well in the, in the previous episode that uh, I want to do a double upload today. So if we do it 2,000 likes on this video by, I don't know, tonight or something, then there will be another episode live as well. So uh, make sure to leave a like if you want to see that episode. So uh, going into the game, we came up against a really strong side uh, with some uh, French players. Also Di Maria, the five-star skiller himself, Lacazette and also Ben Arfa. And he started off in the fourth point, already scoring a goal from a corner. And this was one of the sort of glitches, I guess, which was in the game before the update, which was, I think, from, I think, maybe two weeks ago or something. And uh, it is actually the first goal I conceded that way back then. So, um, yeah, I knew I had to prepare myself for goals like that. But you can see right here, 14th minute, he does make it 2-0 as well with Lacazette. And, um, yeah, the first just few minutes, it just felt that he set so much pressure on me. He was definitely the better player in, uh, in this game and um, you can see as well 23rd minute a great scoop turn from Di Maria and then an unreal finish as well top corner 3-0 it was after less than 30 minutes so uh, it was going to be a really really tough game for myself to get back into because um, you know usually people would rage quit when they're 3-0 down but since this was for YouTube and I barely rage quit anyway uh, when I play games but since it was for YouTube, I obviously just had to play this game. So I just tried my best. We got a big chance with Quadrado. Then we got another huge one here with Asamoah. Unfortunately, his defender Mangala just went in there with a slide tackle. A good block from him. Then we did two of his defenders there with a brilliant uh, body feint. We crossed it in. We pick it up with Quadrado. A good shot there. A good save there from his goalkeeper as well. So first off, he did create some chances. But I have to say, my opponent was just much better. Then going into the second half, we start off with a chip shot, which got cleared off the line. Then we get a shot in with Quadrado, which the goalkeeper saves. Then another shot which the goalkeeper saves and finally from the third rebound the fourth shot it actually went in and I think it went through the goalkeeper's legs as well you can see it from the replay but um, yeah it was just a crazy goal and uh, obviously it was a 3-1 so the comeback was sort of on for us but you can see here from the replay I mean that goalkeeper man he, he legit saved almost everything so um, I knew it was going to be a tough game for myself uh, for the rest of the minutes that was uh, 60th minute here so I saw a lot of pressure with Ellen we played it on through here to Douglas Costa who runs through I noticed this uh, kind of backline was like up forward so we go through here with Douglas Costa great shot there good save there from his goalkeeper as well then at 67th minute we continue on with Quadrado with some skill moves uh, we beat the defender with the Burber spin played it on through here to Muriel probably should have like played it through straight away to Douglas Costa we do get a shot with him though, but he completely skied it. Then at 72nd minute, we set a lot of pressure here as well. Uh, some fantastic skill moves from Douglas Costa. Really nice running Waka Waka combo. And then actually from the rebound to this, Perotti with a great first touch. And he taps it in to make it 3-2. And this is when I noticed that the comeback was definitely on. Because second half, my opponent didn't really create that much. It was just us. I think I was an ultra attacking as well, so that definitely helped. But it was just us creating so many chances. And a few minutes later, we actually picked up a penalty. And on top of that... He actually got himself a red card. Mangala was sent off and this was definitely like a bonus for us as well. So we got a penalty. He was with a man down and um, yeah, we obviously had a big advantage now to, uh, to actually make it 3-3. And you can see as well the target again just completely glitched for me. We do make it 3-3 nonetheless. But I noticed that some of you guys said that you have to put the target on yourself by actually pressing the D-pad. But that is actually what I did. But for some reason it just didn't pop up. And the same thing happened in Fatal when I think some of you guys actually said that to me in the comments. So um, yeah, just to clarify, I think it is a glitch in the game because I saw some other people actually complaining about it as well in the comments. But uh, nevertheless, we do make it 3-3 and we had 10 minutes left or so. And actually after we uh, made it 3-3, I think he changed something because he pressed start before he actually took the kickoff. And I'm not sure if he actually made any subs, but he definitely put a player, I think, in the position of uh, Mangala since he obviously uh, was lacking a defender. But straight after that, he actually made it 4-3 and that made me realize that uh, that it wasn't over. Like I had to like score more and more goals because we had to at least score one more goal in seven minutes and it was just going to be really, really tough. Even though he was playing with 10 men, it was uh, it was not easy for us to get another goal. So uh, we picked up a free kick here after we get fouled and then look at this for a beauty from Costa. Smashed it into the top corner, makes it 4-4. I think his second goal of the game. And uh, again, it was the captain being so, so important for us uh, in, in his first game, basically. And uh, this is when I noticed that uh, Costa was definitely like one of the players I just uh, just was really, really happy with that I actually picked up for the new team. Uh, then a few minutes later, we picked up another free kick. And also, uh, we had to uh, actually make a forced substitution. I decided to bring on Ben Yedder 
Wasn't really like that annoyed with it because Muriel was completely dead. But uh, we picked up another free kick. It would have been a dream if we smashed that one into the top corner as well. Then uh, we get a chance here. I think Parotti is actually there in front of goal. But he gets pushed in his back. Um, no penalty, says the referee. Then uh, we continue on. Still in the 90th minute. We play it on through to an open free Ben Yedder. Who taps it in with his 5-star weak foot. And he makes it 5-4. In the dying seconds of the game. And we actually ended up winning this crazy, crazy game. And I have to say, this is probably like one of the best games I've played uh, so far in FIFA 17. Like, not necessarily the best, but like the ones that I definitely will remember. Because being 3-0 down and still winning 5-4 is crazy. And especially like that goal we conceded right after we made it 3-3. It was just a perfect game, basically. So, um, yeah, again, definitely one of the best comebacks I've uh, I've ever had so far in any FIFA, I think. So, um, yeah, as you can see, we actually did get an injury with uh, with uh, Muriel, which was kind of permanent. So, um, I decided to quick sell the loan version I had of him. Bought a new one for, I think, 900 coins and actually swapped to the other team because I want to play a game with that team as well. So, um, yeah, going in what will be the second game of the episode. Comp against a 4-3-2-1 Serie A side. And uh, he had a decent-looking team as well with the uh, inform Mansukic, some uh, pacey wingers, uh, also a five-star skiller in El Shirari. And uh, we started things off early on in the 11th minute here with Musonda on the left-hand side. Plays it on through here to Vieto. Cuts in there with the Burber spin. I beat one more defender, but then the finish just went wide. Uh, we picked up a corner as well. We do get a header in here, which got cleared off the line. So a lot of stuff happening in the first few minutes. Uh, we pick it up here with Danilo. I tried to go for a shot here, and then we get tackled by one of his defenders. And uh, we picked up an early penalty in this game. And uh, I was hoping that the target was uh, was working again, but you can probably see it right now. It was, again, glitch for some reason. I seriously don't know if this still happens in the game because I haven't really had that many penalties lately. But, um, yeah, it's uh, it's annoying. Let me know in the comments if you guys uh, still experience this uh, when you're playing FIFA and you get a penalty. Uh, then we continue on. 34th minute, uh, bit of lag, but didn't really stop me from actually playing. You can see right there, we do get tackled from behind. And it was actually Patrice Evra picking up his second yellow. And that meant he had to play the remaining minutes with 10 men. It was uh, still really, really early. And it was us just getting a more and more chance here. A really nice panel with Musonda. Unfortunately, couldn't finish that one because that would have been a beautiful goal. Uh, then still in the first half, 38th minute, we get tackled from behind by a centre-back, uh, Benatia. And we were about to pick up another penalty, but then my opponent decided, you know what, I'll rage quit because I've had enough. And um, yeah, that's what he did. He decided to leave... Um, just before the first half was about to end. So uh, we pick up another three points. Uh, these were really easy, I have to say. And um, yeah, we move on uh, in what will be the final game of the episode. And uh, we come up against a Premier League side in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. Uh, a lot of uh, Liverpool players, especially the front three. And uh, we start things off here in the 10th minute again here with Ben Yedder. Plays it on through here to Vieto. I probably should have taken a touch and just run inside the box. But I decided to take the shot, which uh, was a bit stupid. An easy save for, uh, for his goalkeeper. Then 16th minute, he has the ball in with Ramsey, plays it on through to Origi, but an amazing save there from uh, Diego Alves. I felt that his, his attempt wasn't that great either, but um, yeah, still a big chance for him. But then a couple minutes later, a really, really nice finish there from Coutinho, a nice shot there from outside the box. Uh, went in off the post and um, yeah, he made it 1-0, a really, really nice way to uh, to give him the lead. So uh, yeah, we move on, still first half, 45th minute, he has the ball with Sturridge, plays it back to Ramsey, takes a shot, a good save there from Diego Alves to uh, keep us once again in the game. Then uh, going into the second half, uh, we do get a chance here as well with Fiat, a weak foot shot, which unfortunately went wide. Then uh, continuing on a few minutes later here, some great stuff from Korea. We lose the ball, we pick it up again with Kovacic. Uh, goes with some skill miss as well, plays it around a little bit. We pick it up here with Fiato. a lovely scoop turn to a penna, another weak foot shot. Unfortunately, this one went wide as well. So uh, we did create some chances, but they just didn't go in, unfortunately. Then 88 minutes, some great defending from Mangala, but then we completely gave it away. And then again, LTRT, which is something he did so much in this game, it was really difficult to defend. And he made it 2-0 at the very end. So, um, yeah, that is how that game ended. Unfortunately, we ended up losing this game. You can see from the stats, he had a few more shots than us. So, um, yeah, I felt it was a uh, deserved win for him. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to be the end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. would be very much appreciated. And uh, as I said at the start of this episode, if we reach 2,000 likes by tonight, there will be another episode out as well. But anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.